I'm Jane Harvey, and we're gonna jumpstart today unpacking the significance and hopefully a deeper appreciation about what the Apostle Paul referred to as the armor of God. Let me quickly fill you in. In Paul's letter to the Ephesians, he identifies six different components that make up what he refers to as the armor of God. They are the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of readiness and peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Today, we're going to talk about the belt of truth. Jesus, who is the foundation for spiritual battle, is the belt of truth. In my research, I read that this belt of truth is to live out each moment of our lives with absolute sincerity and transparent truthfulness. When we live out this truth, this belt of truth can be regarded as something which encloses and keeps secure in us every other Christian grace and virtue. That is a powerful statement. But here's how easy it is to falter. How often do we say a little more than is really true when we're relating a story? The average person, myself included, is so unaccustomed to absolute sincerity and transparency that to start living this way would have to start being fully aware and acutely conscious of every word that left our lips. But it is possible because with God, anything is possible. We just have to be willing. And I read that even though the smallest taint of insincerity will weaken our character, conscious truthfulness will give strength to the whole person. So today, let's ask him, Lord, let me decrease so that you can increase in me. Help secure the belt of truth around my waist so that all my words and actions reflect transparent truthfulness and absolute sincerity. I hope you're having a chance to bless someone today, and I'll see you next time.